Welcome to our lecture, BC's tech sector, job board. Another thing that we can use as a suggestion for you to improve your chances of getting a job in Canada in the IT sector will be to check BC tech sector job boards. When you visit the different job boards, you can have the opportunity to find and based on the previous lectures, by now you should be ready with your resume and ready to apply for these new opportunities. One of the job boards is the TNET. Basically, just portray companies in different parts of BC, especially Vancouver. They have some news. Also, you can become a member and you can submit uh, also news. So it's a very dynamic website. Another one is the Accelerator Okanagan. And here you have a lot of opportunity for investors, small companies uh, that provide the news. And once you become a member, you have access to some opportunity in the marketplace. Another choice is DGBC. When they announce different uh, information about the industry in BC. And also you have a section for members and also for careers when you can discover those choices. DGVC.org also, a publication with a lot of information with companies uh, that operate in Canada. They can give you an idea of what opportunity can be opening with certain companies through this news. Uh, BC Tech Association also have a website where you can become, uh, you can check the membership choices that they have and also they have a, a section for talent and you can find information to get more, more aware of what's going on in the industry uh, through the association of BC. And finally, a wonderful website called WorkBC. When you can check, uh, search for jobs, check information about your occupation, the trends, the labor market, employment services, uh, training and education, and everything that you need as a foreign worker to get familiar with the uh, market for IT professionals in BC. So we highly recommend that you take a look and especially have some videos on the YouTube channel. And also you can foresee what normally a position like yours uh, perform in Canada. Now let's take a look at their respective website. So here we are at the TNET website, the bctechnology.com and basically when we come to the website, you can see all this opportunity that they have. The section that are going to be more interested as a, as a foreign worker is going to be the tech career section. And if I click here, you can see all the future employers. And top tech and IT employers in BC, where you can get information and do some uh, research so you can check the opportunity that all these employers have for you in Canada. So they are listed out here in the tech careers. And you see the opportunity also for becoming a member. And another thing that you can see here for especially for the employers, they have a post job listing. So when you click it, you can see that employers logging this information for employers and who are hiring today. You can take a look at that opportunity here. You can see all the jobs right here and here are the jobs posted by every employer listed in the TNET website. Um, you have several pages. You have also the opportunity to upload your resume right here or create a job alert that match your occupation or the job post that you're looking for. If you go to this side, in the right side, you can see that also they have organized a page in job categories. And you can see, for example, student and entry level, secretary, I mean, you have all the jobs here uh, classified. But most of the jobs, of course, are in the tech sector, okay? So just visit the web page, upload your resume, and increase your opportunity to get higher in 
Canada. Another website is the Accelerate Okanagan. Uh, if we go here, you can see the information about them, their programs, basically a lot of startup, uh, startup based venture and community. And in the community, just next to the membership, you can check the job board. So you go to job board here and you're going to find the opportunities right here. Here you can say uh, for employers, if they're hiring, they can become members and that way they can uh, feature jobs. And if you are a, a job seeker as a foreign worker, you're looking for work, then you can post your resume right here. And you can, if you click here, you will see the new opportunities that they have. So we're gonna try to do that in a moment. But here in the left side, you can see the job opportunities that are posted that you can check uh, for yourself, okay? And they have several choices right here, but several pages with a lot of job posts. And you can also choose the industry and the keyword, and you can also subscribe to get information. They have also programs that offer mentorship, coaching for a startup uh, in that, that matter. But for people looking for job specifically, you click here, you become a member, and that way when you register, you'll be able to get information about jobs in this community. Another website that we also need to support is DGBC. Again, Interactive and Digital Media Industry. They also have membership, of course. You can see the information about the membership right here. But if you go to the career, they have a career pathway and they have a job board. Let's explore the job board. And you can find here 33 jobs found. These are all the different uh, jobs related to digital media and interactive. And if you have uh, experience as animator or that type of job, then you can find information here. Production, lighting, designer, so for games, things like that. Interesting to see. Here is the digital magazine. You have all the information about companies and you can subscribe here and you get information about the industry, digital industry in BC. The other website that we mentioned before is the BC Tech Association. Again, you have all this information with the events that they organize, different programs that they have, and the memberships and for employers and talent. So they have some scholarship here, information that you can, you can explore. And the BC Text Jobs, that's what I'm going to look for if I were looking for out from outside Canada. And then you can see the service of a membership, what you can get for the uh, job posting, and how you can get familiar with this information. Okay. Talent date, I kind of clicking beyond there. Let's see. Now we go to the text jobs, that's the board for people looking for jobs. You just put the keyword of your occupation, the location, and search. And these are the feature employers that are working with them. Amazon, Fortinet, I guess so, tell us. And testimony of people that have found jobs through uh, bctechjobs.ca, okay? So interesting information highly recommend that you go and visit this uh, website for you to find some jobs okay and finally we are in work bc when you go to the job section you can search jobs and you're going to find all the jobs for it that are posted it's a very good site from the province of british columbia they also can give you information about the labor market as opportunities. You can check the outlook of your occupation through the labor market outlook. Yeah, they can see the profiles of 500 career profiles here when you support your career. And you can filter the information right here. And you can see the occupation and the mid hourly wage and the job opening by 2029 as forecast. So it's very good information in this uh, WorkBC website, so we highly recommend that you take a look. I hope you enjoyed this lecture.
please jump in and check this website right away and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much